Dimitri Vegas and Like Mike are the number one DJ duo in the world. But are two DJs mixing actually better than just one? So in this video, we're gonna break down how they DJ, how they make their sets energetic, and a pretty cool technique that most pro DJs do, but beginners don't. So let's start with talking about how this DJ duo mixes. So this is Dimitri Vegas and this is Like Mike. They both have different roles when they DJ together but for the majority of what they do, it's Dimitri Vegas who does the mixing and it's Like Mike who does the accenting which is stuff like this. Before we talk about Like Mike's accenting techniques, let's first talk about this DJ duo's mixing style. So what's pretty cool about it is that they almost never EQ their tracks, which is the act of affecting a track's frequencies. They mostly just use a volume fader and filter knob to mix in and out of their songs. So as they reach the outro of their current song, it's Dimitri who beat matches the next song and cues it in. As they are about to reach the outro, Like Mike accents that moment by high pass and low pass filtering the current song, then at the same time, Dimitri brings the next song's volume up. As both tracks play with each other, Like Mike accents the current song with high and low pass filtering. Then as the next song reaches its breakdown, like Mike Lopez filters the previous song away and Dimitri brings the previous track's volume down. Dimitri Vegas and Like Mike also mix in key. So when the current song reaches its outro section, Dimitri just slams the next song's volume in. The reason this doesn't sound terrible, besides the fact that both tracks' EQs are in their neutral position, is because they're mixing in key. And mixing in key is the act of mixing two harmonically in sync tracks together. And this results to a more pleasurable blend as both tracks complement each other. Now one of the best ways to understand what mixing in key is, is knowing what mixing in key isn't. So here's an example of not mixing in key. And here's an example of mixing in key. A lot of DJs including David Guetta and Martin Garrix always mix in key, as this type of mixing ensures the cleanest and smoothest harmonic blends. So here's a quick crash course on how to harmonically mix tracks together. This is a Camelot wheel, and you can think of this as a guide for harmonic mixing. And if you want to mix in key, just imagine a T sign on this image. So for example, if your current song has a key of 2A, you can mix a track that has a key of 2A, 3A, 1A, and 2B. Now one of the keys to effective DJing and mixing in key is having the right speakers to do so. And contrary to common belief, it's actually okay to just use Bluetooth speakers for DJing and listening as long as those speakers deliver quality professional sound. And so the Bluetooth speaker I use when I DJ on the go, jam out, and just listen to tracks for DJing is the Bose Soundlink Flex. And there are three solid reasons why I love this speaker besides the fact that it's wireless and is the best mini Bluetooth speaker you can buy right now according to CNET. Number one is because it sounds great. Its sound is crisp, clear, and free of distortions. And its powerful bass can boom and project music whether you're in a small room or on the road. 
and as a DJ, this is very important, especially when it comes to mixing tracks and making sure you're affecting each track's frequency perfectly. Number two is because of its size and build quality. Since this unit is so small, bringing this thing with me whenever I go is a no-brainer. And unlike DJ Gear, the Bose SoundLink Flex is waterproof and dust resistant with an IP67 rating. So using this unit whether you're on a beach or in a desert is safe. And number three is because the SoundLink Flex lasts all day. It can go up to 12 hours on a single charge and charging it is super easy and convenient as it features a USB-C port. And that's pretty great because my portable DJ setup which is my iPad Pro and DJ Control Mix also utilize that type of cable. So if you want to get the Bose SoundLink Flex at a huge discount, now is the best time to do so because Best Buy is currently having a Mother's Day promo in which you can save up to $20 on the unit. And please note that Best Buy offers in-store pickup and fast delivery options, so you're covered on all fronts. So check the links down below and get a great deal. Let's now move on to how Dimitri Vegas and Like Mike rock the crowd and keep their sets energetic and unique. Now keeping the energy up in one set is heavily reliant on where and when one mixes their next track in. And most beginner DJs just do simple intro-outro mixing, which is when you mix your next song's intro in at the current song's outro so that your next song's first verse begins right when the current song's outro ends. This results to a boring blend for two reasons. Number one is because one tires the crowd by playing the whole song. And number two is because most intros and outros are just plain generic beats which is also a sonically unexciting blend. Dimitri Vegas and Like Mike on the other hand, keep their mix exciting by always mixing their next song in at the current song's first chorus. And this results to a fresh and exciting mix since they're always constantly mixing new songs in at a fast pace. So they have three ways to do this. Let's talk about the first one which is chorus of first verse mixing. Now this type of mixing is an excellent way to keep the energy of the mix going while still keeping the crowd ready to recuperate their energy. So all you have to do is mix your next song's intro section in at the current song's chorus section so that the next song's first verse begins when the current song's chorus ends. The second way they keep their mixes energy up is by doing chorus to build up mixing. This mixing style is usually done when one feels like the crowd is starting to feel energetic and ready to really party. So this type of mixing is accomplished when one mixes the next song's first verse section in at the current song's chorus section so that the next song's build up session begins when the current song's chorus ends. And the third way is chorus to chorus mixing. This mixing style is the best way to keep the energy of the mix up at their highest level as you are bombarding your audience with chorus after chorus. The one caveat of this style though is that one tends to tire the crowd incredibly fast. So the best way to do this type of mixing is when you feel like your crowd has reached its peak in terms of crowd energy and enjoyment. So this type of mixing is done when one mixes the next song's build up section in at the current song's chorus section so that the next song's chorus begins when the current song's chorus ends. One of the best ways to ensure you're able to apply all those mixing techniques is to use quality tracks with extended intros and outros. And pro DJs like myself and Dimitri Vegas and like Mike download our acapellas, instrumentals, and tracks with intros and outros from DJ Record Pools. And you can think of DJ Record Pools as huge libraries of music of all genres where DJs can download all the tracks they could ever need. And the DJ Record Pool I subscribe to is Zip DJ, and you can get a huge discount on their services by using the coupon code DJ Carlo, or better yet, DJ Carlo Pro when you sign up on their site. Let's move on to how Like Mike accents their tracks and makes your sets unique with every performance. 
So Like Mike has 5 accenting techniques and he usually implements them during the build-up sections of songs. So the first one involves using the flanger effect. The second involves using the Crush C effects. The third one involves using the Noise C effects. Now, if you guys want to know how to set your filter C effects to do another function like the noise and crush effects, stick around till the end of the video. Anyway, the fourth trick involves using the high pass filter and phaser effect. Sometimes he alters the phaser effect with an echo effect. So here's a quick guide on how to set up your CFX settings on Recordbox DJ. To activate all these CFX functions, go to Settings, select View, scroll down until you see the section entitled Effect Panel. Then select Beat Effects plus Sound Color Effects. Now check your top right corner. A CFX function should now display with a 3 dot selection and 1 dot selection. Select the 3 dot selection. This should enable you to adjust each color effect on each individual channel in the center here. For example, if on channel 1 I want to add a noise color effects, I can just hit the drop down menu and select Noise. And now you can do this with your filter knob. So why was Dimitri Vegas tapping the CDJ? Well, the answer is quite simple. It's to get into rhythm with the mix so that when he triggers his next song in, it'll be perfectly in beat. This is a pretty useful technique, so I hope you incorporate it into your own style of DJing because it can really improve your timing and rhythm. And that's it. Let me know your favorite technique down below. And with that said, thank you so much for watching everyone and I'll see you all in the next one.